<laughs> it was there, but it, something in my throat. There's something in there lodged in. It's like a lot of mucus, maybe a little bit of phlegm. Hey, what is that clicking? You got to stop that clicking. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Usual Podcast, season two, episode 34. Something's bad with the throat. Round of applause, please. <laughs> rough, 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 rough. Hey, look, my name is Peyton, and I'm rapping on that beat. Yeah, Kim's in the studio, and I'm about to... And I'm about to go eat. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to You Should Know Podcast. Season 2, episode 34. Welcome back to... Yes! (sighs) Okay. Great energy back there from the studio audience. I love it. Hey, let me break something down to you real quick. It's the ass crack of dawn out here. It's about 6 a.m. Am I a functioning human being at this time? (sighs) Absolutely not. Do I have the forbidden Starbucks drink? Ooh, do I have it? I guess you'll just have to see... And wait to the rest of the episode. I want to start this podcast by saying happy Veterans Day. I know by the time this is uh, uploaded, it is past Veterans Day, but I just want to say happy Veterans Day. Shout out to all the people that have uh, served for us and shout out to all the families of veterans. And I want to dedicate this episode to the veterans and families of veterans and shout out to a veteran very close to me, uh, Michael Ihiquaba. I miss you and I love you very much. So thank you to all of you guys. And I want to thank you so much to all the people who have grabbed some merch so far. We had so, so, so many, so many orders last week whenever the merch dropped, y'all shut down my computer. Guess what? The merch is still available. It did, I told you we, we have a lot of inventory. We have a lot of stuff. So I know, you know, you gotta wait to get paid. You got bills to pay. I understand life is life. I'm not rushing you. That's why you can go to the link in the description. You should know studios.com backslash shop and still grab some merch. I just checked my phone before we started recording and y'all were sending me the videos of you wearing it, opening the packages. That made me so happy. And y'all talking about how comfortable these fabrics are. Y'all thought I lied to you. These fabrics are great. I cannot wait. I cannot wait till everybody grabs their merch at you should know studios.com backslash shop. Also, there's a lot of thank yous in this intro. Shout out. I have some P.O. Box shout outs. If you want to send us something in the P.O. Box, the link is in the description or the address is in the description. Please continue to send us stuff in the P.O. Box. We cherish it forever. And I want to shout out to Jordan who sent us this nice little koala bear that's going to be on the set. It's a new friend. One out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. So shout out to you, Jordan. Thank you so much. And I want to shout out to Final Few who sent us this sick hoodie and a hat. I don't have the hat here because I am. it's at my home because I'm wearing it all the time. So shout out to Final Few you shout out to jordan and shout out to everybody who sent stuff in the p.o box the link is below whoa you know what the deal is if you look below you see that subscribe button isn't pressed you're wrong if you look even more below that and you say something you win i tried to change it up and it didn't feel good i should have just continued with what i always do but i tried to switch it up leave a comment saying hey that's all you got to say right now just say hey You never know what to say. Just say, hey. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, This is going to be a great episode. We got co-host Cam in the building. Now let's get on to the rest of the podcast. This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Everybody loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in Below the Waist Grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about your new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use code PSH for free shipping and 20% off. I'm telling you, holidays are right around the corner. If you're a man, get this gift for yourself or get this for a man in your life. If you're a woman and you have and you want to use this, go ahead and use it. Ain't no problem with that. Or if you have a man in your life, a dad, an uncle, a brother, a cousin, anybody, and you it's hard to get gifts for men, I know. This is a gift that you give somebody and then six months down the line they're like, hey, I want to let you know I'm still using that manscape give you gift you gave me. It is the perfect gift so shout out to manscape and get 20 percent off and free shipping with code psh at manscape.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscape.com and use code psh be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all for manscape your balls will thank you thank you manscape now to the rest of podcast you should know podcast okay we got co-host cam back in the studio It's cold, isn't it? 
<laughs> you all right? Yeah, no, it is pretty cold, you, though. If y'all, you know, I'm starting to get that time of the year. It's getting cold. But so, what's uh, helping you stay warm? Bundle up. Uh, This amazing uh, embroidered roar. Embroidered. I'm going to hear his name. You should know studios.com backslash shop. shop. And what happens if your ears get cold? What can you go and get at you should know studios.com backslash shop? Oh, Ooh, that beanie. I wore that I wore that yesterday because the temperatures were starting to decline. Yeah, they, I put on the dropping. beanie. I looked super good in it. I No, see. no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. I, I looked really good in it. Congrats. Cam. I hear you. You want to you wanna wrestle? No. Nope. Please? Just real quick. No. Nope. Just a quick little tussle. No. <laughs> Nope. No. You don't you don't want to do that. Yeah. Who won last time? You, <laughs> you tell me who won last time. Who won? Oh I just He's have lying. bad conditioning. He's lying. If, if it was a time session, say we did one minute rounds. One minute rounds. I, would All I have right. won that? Alright, guy. Would I have won that? Alright, guy. And I'm growing out my beard. I like it. Does it look good? It does. It's starting to connect it's more. Connecting, yeah. Yes. That's the one part right here. That yeah. last little part. Yeah, See yours yeah. is like it's not connecting right there too, yeah. but mine's like a little <laughs> like I can connect all the way to about right there. Yeah, but if you fluff it out enough, it, it'll just cover it. <laughs> no, no, no. I like grow it out enough. Yeah. Um uh, last week we spent a lot of time in the merch. We're not gonna do that this week, but we do want to announce <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, oh, by the way, I saw that in the Discord, by the way. I saw that in the Discord. I saw Somebody put in there, and I'm, maybe it was a funny and I took it a little personal. It's fine. But I did take it personal. Somebody in the Discord, and no one defended me when they and. said this. <laughs> Everybody just laughed because no, no one defends me in there. They said, no, sorry, they treat you like a, a god in there. They're like, oh, Cam, oh. everybody's nice to Cam. Make fun of Peyton now. So Cam's nice to everyone. I'm nice to them too. So um, somebody in the Discord said, Peyton, I love the podcast. Me and my friends love the podcast, but I had to stop listening because of your burps in there. And five of my friends stopped watching because you burp on the mic. So guess Ooh, what? You don't burp. Uh, Belts burp. Uh. Uh, this is not that type. This isn't. This isn't a a a. a uh, what's a BBC radio? This isn't the news. Yeah. We're going. We're going to yeah. act ratchet. If I got a burp. It's coming out. Yeah, I I toot on this podcast all the time. Y'all just never know. Yeah. What happened? Uh, what happened? I let one loose and it's just now. It, yeah, it's, Cam, it's bad. We just had to fume no, it's, it's, the the, no, the set before we know, started recording. I don't, I don't know what I've What's been in you? It's bad. No, it's it's, it's like a dead bad. possum something inside of your your, rot, your gut. Rot. Yeah, it's rancid. <laughs> it's it is ranking. But about the merch, before, for that. if I if I smell that when I'm giving this pitch, I will I will strike you. So. um Speaking of the merch, we're not going to spend too much time on it because we spent a lot of time next week. It is available now, so go get it. Um, that was really fast. Thank you so much. Um, some of them are doing them. You're swimming. I'm here. What I got to do to get it through? You're swimming. Innovate. 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 Still Original copies to be added every week. We're going to announce a winner starting next week. Four people. If you buy anything from the merch uh, drop, you are entered to win one of these. And new announcement. New announcement. New announcement. <laughs> it's a new one. Get it? Come on. <laughs> Manscaped, our presenting sponsor of the You Should Know podcast, hmm. loves y'all so much. Hmm. Knows the power that y'all hold and says you. Peyton and Cam, your audience is so loyal, so great to us at Manscaped. They use code PSH at checkout all the time. And we saw you at a merch shop. We want to get involved. And it's the holiday season. We want to get involved. We want to get back. So, announcing right now, if you order $50 or above from you should know studios.com backslash shop. Any combobulation of 50. Not, you don't have to just get the hoodie. One item over that. Any combobulation. Two shirts. Two shirts. Seven mugs. A shirt and a beanie. <laughs> six and a quarter mugs. Uh, four and a half flags. Any way you get to any 50 ball or higher. Way. You are then inserted into a performance package. Randomized. Completely. We're going to put it into a randomization ticket, tool. Willy Wonka randomized to get a 
100% free, courtesy of our amazing sponsors at Manscaped, Manscaped? Performance Package. And if you don't know what all is in the Performance Package, well, Peyton's about it. to spit it to you. Like, Peyton's about to spit it to you. It looks a little something like it's, this. It's unreal. I mean, your balls, your balls will, will thank you. you. That's the first thing you get. And ladies, I know you're like, oh, I'm, I'm in my balls. Oh. Great gift. Great gift. Fantastic. It, great packaging comes in here. Lawnmower 4.0, underwear, accessories, ball deodorant, cop preserver, uh, Keep it, um, keep it going. Per, 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 keep sorry, it going. I'm, I'm stuttering right now. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. It's uh, the whole thing. It's the whole thing. It's, 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 it's not everything. A, it's not a starter kit. It's not a. It's not an installation. It's not step one. You get steps one through six in one package. Yep. And you get it for how much? What was it? It was fifty. It wasn't. Oh, for free. It, yeah. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't eighty or ninety. Bucks. No, 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 no. It wasn't. Well, it wasn't even twenty. No. It, matter of fact, it wasn't even one ninety. No. Oh, it was, it was free ninety nine. Where else, can you, where else can you do that other than the You Should Know podcast? You order a shirt and a hoodie, and you end up getting a shirt, a hoodie, and an, an entire, entire performance package, package from our beautiful, amazing, lovely friends at none other than Manscaped. Oh. Manscaped. All right. We, but should, we, should like, we should demo that. Like, you know, you want to put that on? Shout out to a little producer in the background and like have them mix some and send it to Manscaped, see if they can use that. I don't think man I don't I, I, I don't think we should man. I, it? That's I, off of like a Disney movie. But I think I think if we were Prince Ali Ali Abi Ali Ababwa <laughs> That's I knew I've I never seen that before <laughs> Yes, but you have. I want to. I want to. You've seen. I Aladdin. swear, I've never seen. You've seen Aladdin. Shut up. You've seen. Aladdin. I've the only. You've seen the Will Smith one, which is disturbing. I have not seen that. I okay. I, the only Disney, Disney original animated movie I've ever seen is Lion King. That's a damn. That's a lie. Oh, my name's Cam. You haven't Cam. seen Mulan? No. You haven't seen Mulan? No. We haven't watched Mulan together. Wrong girl. Was it me? We had a date <laughs> where we cuddled and watched Mulan. And you I cannot there. believe you're cheating on me. <laughs> that wasn't me. He's a sicko. But He's a sicko. and that's sick because what I'm about to do right now. So I know I told you Manscaped sent over just stuff so we can give away. Mm -hmm. But they love you, and this performance package actually is for you. Oh, so here's a Manscaped. performance package 4.0 for dun, you, dun. Cam. Coast Cam. Look, Cam. look, the little it's you know it's an an amazing logo. So it's a heart. But it kind of looks, looks like, like a little testes. Like a little but don't worry, guys. We got another one to give away to y'all. <laughs> so, that one's just for Coach Kim and his amazing work. And uh, Manscaped loves him. Manscaped, they wanted to give you a little early Christmas we love gift. You, we love you. Thank you. You'll be uh, receiving a thank you message personally. But amazing. Amazing yeah. job. Amazing pack. And it's just, it's just it's perfect. Just, it's just perfect. It's perfect. It looks like you're getting a little box of slides, like a little, some Nike slides. Something. You open it up. It's, a, it's your whole bathroom necessities for manscaping for women gifting <laughs> womenscaping if you want if you want who cares all right there thank you so much manscaping yep we love you yep. and uh one more time to recap it and then move on to the uh to everything else Fit any 50 dollar order you automatically get automatically get pushed into a pool of the other 50 dollar orders and we will randomly be selecting one in I don't know. A couple I don't of wanna, weeks time, yeah. probably closer around uh, in the de December month, yeah. around you know the holidays, and whatnot. But yeah, any order fifty dollars more, no matter how you get to fifty, if it's over fifty, automatically gets put and into I the pool. Sorry. Somebody's getting randomly selected. Free Christmas present, not from us, from your friends at Manson. And I want to clarify: if you've already spent over fifty dollars, you already You're automatically already entered. entered, in. entered yes, in, we so. just didn't tell you about it. Yeah. The pool's already been created. Yes. So just know that. Yep. Yeah. So shout out to Manscaped. But you know, it sucks. I just. Yeah, you might want to hold that back. Okay. I just, I just gifted you something. You know, me and Manscaped. That's from both of us. Mm. Well, and no, it's from both of us. Okay. You read the emails. <laughs> read the emails. It's read the them. emails on the company email. Okay. Um, you're a bad friend. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. You, I've, I'm a fantastic friend. Bad friend. If bad is really code for a fantastic, then sure. You know why you're a bad friend? Fantastic, but why? Do you want to know why you're a bad friend? Fantastic. Do you sure. want to know why? Yeah. There's not a lot of things. Fantastic you could do that really makes me question your loyalty to me. Exactly. Fantastic. You know, friendship is really, <laughs> there's a there you go. <laughs> there's the burp. Ooh. I'm not listening no more. Yeah, ooh, All right. Go wash off. <laughs> okay. Um, there's not a lot of things you could do to make me question your, friendship is built on loyalty. You mm -hmm. know, it's a big part of friendship. Huge. Yeah. 
One of the biggest things in loyalty is if I share something with you that makes me happy, I expect you to at least try to find joy in it. I always do. Do you? Because I was looking through our TikTok DMs, oh Cam. Oh, my Lord. And Don't. Oh my God. I said, shut up. You... <laughs> I spit. <laughs> you don't speak Un right now. Unpigeon your feet. Put them down. <laughs> I am Look upset. At your Look at your I am upset. This is what my upset stance is. Okay. That, mm. it's, it's preventing me from grabbing that messed up hip. Okay. That I messed sent, up hip can do some work. I sent Cam a, a, a video on TikTok, as we all do with our friends. You send them funny TikTok videos. Hopefully, you're sending them ours. But I sent you a funny video on TikTok. Check our DMs again to see if you responded to it. The next message that Cam replied with was the same exact video. You ever been like, you ever got some really horrible news and your stomach drops? Yeah. That's exactly how I felt. It's an honest mistake. Ooh, God forbid that I open the app and the first video is something that I thought was funny as no, well. No, you're lying! So I send it to my friend and then I get a very hateful message from you saying that I suck. Ooh, God forbid the first video when I click the app is hilarious, so I send it before I check my DMs. No, get, isn't that a, a game? Isn't go, that a go catch a train? Just get out of here. What is that? Go get on a go get on the dart. Get out of here. I got this episode. Get out. Leave. Come on. So now you're going to lie to me. Come on. <laughs> lie to me. If I grab your hand or wrestling. If you want to lose in front of the public, that's fine. <laughs> what is the record? What's the that record? That does not count because I got tired. I was whooping your ass. You got tired? That sounds like a you problem, buddy. I was beating you up, and then I got real tired, and I just laid on my back. Oh, <laughs> oh God. So you're going to lie in front of me, in front of the people, all our, our family that is watching nothing me. nothing I said That was it. not the first. You're, you're going to tell me right now that that was the first video that popped up on your time. Like, just ka dinky huh? As soon as it I wasn't even a viral app, video. It's either the first, but we have, it doesn't have to be a viral video. We have very similar interests. Oh, our for you pages are the same? No. Oh. But that doesn't mean that none of them will ever be the same. Cam, your for you page. You relax. Your for you page. You need your to for relax. you page is black and white videos with pianos, inspirational, and then six hundred pound men squat dumbbells. My for what? you page. <laughs> you need to relax. You are saying nonsense right now. Six hundred pound men. This guy's a goof. Hey, it's an honest mistake, and I already apologized. He already ridiculed me off camera. So if this is how you want to get off this morning, then go for it. I'll be your punch back. Go for it. Take your best shot. Go. Because I will not stand for this. I'm just kidding. We're fine. I feel itchy. We're fine. You need to untouch. Your knees have been touching this entire time. It's probably sending a different brain wave up there. It's like it thinks you're you're being forced to do this, but you're not. So let's go. Can Normal I, stance. I, okay, I do have something that I, that I saw. Because I've been waking up earlier, you know, trying it's to... It's freezing. It's so cold. It's freezing cold. <laughs> you know, God. dude, my hair is messed up. You didn't tell me. Your hair looks great. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wow. A compliment from Cam. Not follow that. You look like a little skeleton cricket boy. <laughs> 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 I can't <laughs> go. Dude, honestly. Do not do that. Do not do that. Jordan gave us that. He's a part of the family. Jordan gave us that. He's going to keep my hands warm. <laughs> it's oh, so soft. So soft. And Hoover's still down here. Hoover is. Um. Oh, so I've been waking up early. You, you know? have. I, I will congratulate you Thank on that. You, you have. Thank you, you. You're no longer uh, a vamp. Thank yes. you. Um. And, you know. It's so soft. Thank you. Not you. Well, not you. But, um. I woke up, I've been waking up early, and my apartment is kind of by a school, right? I always see children walking, school, buses going by. I don't know where this, I've actually never seen it. I just see kids I'll with backpacks. I'm not quite sure if it is. I think it's on, like, I think it's behind my apartment. Okay. I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter. Don't really care. can live there regardless, I, but yeah. I have, no pro, I have no interest in knowing yeah, where that cool. school is. I just know that there's a school there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the mornings, people are driving their kids to school. That's what parents do, mm -hmm. or relatives, or friends. They drive. Somebody has to. Somebody. But or this, the bus. This, but yeah. Well, this well, wasn't this a, well, okay. This was an adult driving a kid in the car. I'm a nosy little guy, you know what I mean? I like to... 
move your damn knees. I am sorry, but it's, it's starting to piss me off. I know, it's starting to make me mad. It's starting to piss me off. I don't know why I'm doing that. I've never done normal. this before. Who sits like this? I don't know. Sit normal. I don't feel good. You can good. rewind, you can click play, whatever. I apologize. Don't let that happen. I'm sorry, again. I'm sorry. Okay, go. Uh, it's like, there's like magnets on my knees right no, now. Like, it's, it's like going like this. Em. I'll break them. Okay. I'll, I'll snap them, shatter them. I'll grab your hip. Uh, <laughs> so I was, I'm a nosy dude. You know, I, I'm a people watcher. I'm a rubberneck. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's something going on, I need to look where it's, what's happening. I need to be involved in that. I almost went to a whole different topic because something just popped up in my brain. I think I need to be medicated. I think your knees are, they're truly, they're messing with in you. In this contact, bro, I don't know what's going on. They're it's messing it's with starting you. to hurt. I don't know why people watch this. I'm so sorry. But nosy people. No, so I- was most are. People enjoy drama. Yeah, so I was, well, this wasn't even drama. I was just, I just wanted to see what other people's lives were like inside of that car. So I was sitting at a red light. There was a car to my right and I looked and I wasn't even trying to hide it. I was looking. I was deadpan into their car trying to figure out what's your life story. You know what I mean? It was a dad, and I'm assuming his son was in the passenger seat about to take him to school. You okay. know what I'm saying? It was school time. He's about to go to school it's early in the morning. Gotta go learn something. Early bird gets the worm. You know, breakfast is, as Essential. they say, the most important meal of the day it's is not, what they but say. But that's what they it's, say. It's a folk. It's a, it's it's a, a, it's yeah, a, but, a common, yes, it's a common yes. saying. So they're eating in the car. Maybe they, you know, rush. You got to eat when you can. You got to be mm -hmm. fueled up for your day. I was like, what are you eating? I don't know why I care, but I wanted to say, what are you putting in your mouth? What do you got? You know what I'm saying? And what I saw them eating really hit something in, in my soul. I haven't been able to sleep for a little bit. Mm -hmm. The son was eating Takis at 8.30 in the morning, Cam. Nice. And he had red fingers eating Takis in the morning. And Cam, he got it from his father. Because you know what his father was eating? Salmon. With his bare hand. I am not joking, Cam. He was eating salmon. Bare hand and salmon like this. That's a freak. That's, that is a different, different appetite. Do you want to imagine what that car smelled like? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> One of them had to. One of them had to have skipped deodorant. Because if you're if you're eating salmon and takis, there's no way that deodorant is one of your priorities. Because if you wake up, not okay. If you wake up and you're eating takis at 8:30 in the morning, you can't tell me that it's that everything's screwed on mm -mm, right. No, no, you had to forget your mm -hmm. deodorant, toothbrush, something. They forgot. They forgot an essential Actually, step. I can't. I can't agree with you. I've been going through this thing. I've been eat, I've been eating onion rings about nine in the morning. I don't know why, like, I've been waking up and just, like, the feeling of onion rings has been in me. I don't even know what that means. What's the longest you've gone without showering? What? <laughs> like, ever. You ever tried to compete? No. With, what? With First your... off, I'll answer, but then we're going to circle back. Where the hell did that come from? It's in there somewhere. But secondly, <laughs> uh, let's see, longest I've, I'd probably say... Like adulthood or just in life? Whenever you know you're doing wrong. Adulthood, <laughs> whenever I know I'm doing wrong, I think I went on, it was a two and a half to three day stretch. Oh, that's rookie numbers. Yeah, that's very rookie, rookie That's what numbers. I'm saying. I, I, refuse, I can't like, I cannot, you're never going to uh -huh. hear a double digit. You're uh -huh. never going to hear a calendar week. Uh -huh. I would, I would. I'm not sharing mine. I refuse. No, let's go ahead and hear it, buddy. Because that's some sick stuff. I'm already getting irritated. The podcast. We're 10 minutes in and I'm getting pissed off. The podcast is too we big now. We are 10 minutes in and you're pissing me off. What's the longest? I have like out? this big what? urge no, to no, like, no, like no. hurt you. What is the, it's, it can't happen. What is the longest you have not bathed? If you say, a re, oh my God, I got to sit up. If you say an unacceptable number, I'm, oh my God, I might have to walk off. Three days? If you, oh my God, you're not talking about three weeks. If you just said three weeks, your body should be mummified right now and you should be in the museum. If you don't bathe for three weeks, you have a microbiome of fungi under your armpits. The Lord himself is the only one that knows what you possibly smelled like. Because matter of fact, no, everyone should know what you smelled like. Oh my God, you're not, you are not serious. It was a rough month. You're not a rough month, my ass. I could have been, uh, I could have been captured and I would have found some body of water to at least dip in real quick. 
<laughs> oh, God. No, please don't tell me you're being serious. Please don't tell me you're being serious. The only thing that'll even justify this a little bit is if you, when was the age? When is, if you say anything, matter of fact, honest to God, if you say any time frame that I've even known you, I'm going to get pissed off. I truly might walk away. That's not fair. You know me. I truly, I literally might walk off the set you, you and just take a lap. Regroup myself and come back. If you, oh my God, if you, if you say, if you say that this happened when I knew you, I'm gonna get mad. It's not just whenever you knew me; it's when we lived together. Son of a, that that I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You're lying. You're lying. There's no way. You're lying. You're lying. I'm not believing you. You're lying. You're a liar. You're a liar. You you're a liar. You are a liar. You remember your favorite pastime is lying. Because that can't be true. That cannot be true. Wipe that tear off right now. Because you might need to save it to bathe later. If you're going three weeks without it. You need any source of liquid. Save rough. that cup of Starbucks water. Cause it's a rough month. You remember? You know what time just, frame no, this was. Just give me... Hold on. It's whenever I was eating chips in the bed. And there was crumbs in my sheets. Oh my the crumb snatcher. You cannot be serious. I might be down playing the numbers too. I don't know. I just feel judged. You should. Th that's not. No, bro. <laughs> Three weeks. <sighs> My God, that's going to come out. Three. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is it out? Uh, it's a little red. <laughs> but you're good. Um, Back to me almost, almost fighting you right now in the, in this exact moment. There's no way. Yo, I don't know what you want me to say. You, you would have smelled so funky. No, 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 no. I didn't smell bad. Then how? Explain it. Just how my body works. That's. So I was past puberty, so it wasn't like I was just ripe all the time. Oh, you were well past puberty. You were grown. That's. <laughs> oh it happens to the best of no, us. No, it does not. It happens. I said three days. You said three weeks. Yeah. I feel judged. I don't like this. You, sh everyone in he Dragon's judging you. Every Dragon's never this bathed. bottle. This bottle of body wash is judging you hard right now. <laughs> I didn't have Manscaped back then. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. I okay. Oh my god. I'm not letting this go. Three weeks. You were probably your sweat. Was probably I don't know original what you want me to tell you. original Lay's potato chips. It was off Red season. We it was off season, so we weren't playing. Oh no, I didn't even bring that up. Cause if it would have been in season, I would have I literally no, no, walked no. straight down to Melinda and requested a form and and absolutely changed rooms. Absolutely changed rooms. Cause you know what that very quickly reminds me of? Hmm. Seven footer. Which one? Our team. Okay, fair enough. But our teammate. I don't want to put them on downstairs back. or the, no. our room. No, not our room. Not uh, Russian. No, we had another seven footer. Yeah. Well, you didn't. Oh, okay. I don't know. I do know. Bad. Uh, right. <laughs> really bad. I mean, really, really bad. Like he had a griddle in his room, and he was whipping stuff up no. in the room. And they had a bakery in there. So there was food, and his just. Mm -mm. Just, mm -mm. oh, it's so bad. Mm -mm. It was so, like you avoided to go to his room at any cost. Mm -mm. Hey, can you come help me? Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, not. Got, I got some. Yeah. I got a meeting. Yeah, I'll pay you. I don't need it. You know, I would rather starve <laughs> than vomit right now because that's. It was bad. Like it was really bad. Dude, do you ever just like your brain gets flooded with thoughts? Yeah. I've been thinking like, isn't it crazy? Like people invent things. Yeah, honestly. Like, like nuts. Like, like, you know, like, I was drinking a drink, right? Oh, boy. I was drinking a drink, right? <laughs> I was drinking a drink, right? As most people do. And, like, the th in the thing that you put on top so it doesn't, like, the who somebody invented the lid. The lid. So, no, nuts I behavior. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Every, like a tripod. Who thinks of this somebody shit? Somebody was like, dude, this is kind of wobbly. Let's make something that doesn't move. Insane work. And like, I, it's just. Oh, like, like, which is. And, but the thing, the thing that pisses me off the most, like, true, like, like, deep, 
deep engineering, like amazing thing, like mm -hmm. a TV. I'm never making. Yeah, a TV. yeah, no, no, no. I'm never making a computer. I'm not making no, no, software no, no. and no. chips that do things for you. Absolutely without being not. Told. That's not. Absolutely not. But simple things like a lid, like a hanger. A Insane hanger. behavior. Who thought of that? A tripod. They deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. A lid. <laughs> like yeah, there's another one. <laughs> I mean, it pisses me off because there's so many things. It's like. It's like, how do, Why like, didn't I think of that? Like, I would literally, like, look at this. Like, somebody, like, this would spill a hundred percent of the time. And then, so, who the, uh, the lid? And then words mean something. Yeah, no, that's a crazy thing. Like, we're speaking right now. <laughs> You're like, like, how do you know what, like, I'm, that's saying, what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I'm saying like, an abundance making, of noises with my we're tongue. We're just making noises, yeah. And you I, know I, what I, I'm I, saying? I, yeah, it's crazy. It's honestly insane. Like, it's wild. And like planes, bro. That's like the most insane invention I could like. I can't even no, fathom honestly. to think how they get off of the like off the ground. Yeah. Like, how does that happen? No, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't. I have no. We should watch a video together and study. But like, it's a big thing, and it goes in the sky, and, and it doesn't fall, and it goes fast. Yeah, hundreds of miles an hour. It weighs. Thousands and thousands of tons, and it doesn't drop. And you can get a cheesecake <laughs> on there. Like, that is yeah. nuts. And there's <laughs> bathrooms? What? Insane. Wait, I just thought, where does the poo go? They, It's drained afterwards. Don't Please don't think. So you're just sitting like in. A pfft, and a thing goes, <laughs> and just flies out there. Oh, God. No, no. Just imagine you're outside. <laughs> it's like, ah, the deal, la da just, First off, it'd probably kill you because it'd be going oh so God. fast. So, like people used to say, if you threw a penny off the Empire State Building, yeah, like you'd, the amount of gravity, like it would pick up so much speed that if it hit someone, it could literally like concuss them, like kill them, like anything. You want to try it? Isn't that wild? Like that's how high up that is. Isn't that sick? This building is pretty high. Matter of fact, for any of you either from New York or people that have been to New York, tell me if I'm wrong or weird. Uh, quick side story. Go ahead. Uh, I went to New York several years ago. With uh, my boy Yohi, Justin. Hey, Justin. And um, went there. It was like eight day trip. It was fun. Completely different way of life. Being from Texas, going to New York. But the first time we got in the subway. The subway was, I mean, it was really dirty, but it was cool. Like, yeah. oh, this is what's on the shows and stuff. So we get in the subway, and we're walk. We got off at. Uh, I've never been. Don't point at me. Downtown, like mid downtown, huge. What is it? Times Square. Times Square. Thank you. I was about to say Central Park. And I knew. Times Square. So we get off at the Times Square exit, and we're literally just, again, we're underground, so it's just walls. We're going up these steps. And when I tell you, it's literally like just a punch straight to the gut. When you step out of the steps at Times Square and you get there, these buildings, mm -mm. like standing in downtown Dallas, is it's they're large, very big buildings, yes. kind of same feeling. We're in one of the biggest. These buildings, though, in New York, when I say you're standing and you look up and they are so large, that it literally makes you feel like that big mm -mm. and it makes your stomach drop. Mm -mm. It's a weird thing. That's like, why I've never been. They're so big. It, like when you're looking up, it literally looks like they're starting to like bend and curve because how tall they are. Hell no. And you li I literally was looking at it like, oh my God, that's about to fall. No. And I was, it was sickening. But no, I, mean, I pass out. Yeah. You quickly get over it. But like standing ground level in front of the Empire State Building and then looking up. It is it is a mon monstrosity. Like it is, it's just a different feeling. It's so weird. So if anyone experienced that, please let me know. I'm not the only one, but it was, it was a freak fest for sure. It's, it's just, yeah. That's the thing I used to do with my brother. Shout out to Preston. Is we would walk in like downtown Austin where I grew up, and the building there's a lot of buildings, tall buildings, and we would walk downtown and just like look up and try to walk, vertigo immediately. Yeah, 100%. almost fall like, over. Uh, yeah, it's sick. Uh, like it's 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 freaky. This this studio used to be on the top floor. Yeah. That was a great view. Great view. Mm. <laughs> and that, that that elevator right up, every time like your ears would oh, pop. Oh, pop, yeah. God. 37th floor. You know what I was wondering? 37 to... floors. Yeah. Imagine falling. I know. didn't really want to say the floor number, but. Well, 38. <laughs> or 36. Or, or you feeling lucky? 44. <laughs> but, um. 18. You know what I always wanted to do? What? But I, I really don't. Don't say skydive. Oh, Hell no. Okay, yeah. We're, I knew that's we, what I don't get. I knew we were locked in on that. That's, I don't understand how people like, like, and I'm not judging, judge free zone here at the You Should Know podcast because we're all weirdos and creeps in our own way. But I don't understand people like that 
skydive. Hey, let's go flirt with death next Saturday. <laughs> exactly. And like, I want to go. Do you not like life? It, and it goes even deeper than that with me. And people might call me names like wuss or whatever. Yeah. That really like almost spasm my it's lip right wuss. there. <laughs> like people that are like, I want to go to a scary movie tonight. Why, why? I like that. I like that Why, a lot. why? I like that a lot. Why, why? I like that a lot. But why, why would you do that? I'm completely safe. It's a theater. No, but. I'm not jumping out of a plane. Okay. You're safe, but not up here. True, I'll give you that. Because when you go home, you always looking around corners a little oh, bit. Yeah. You don't check like the that dark. Closet real quick. Mm -mm. Let me. Hey, get in your cage, Ruby. You're not out there tonight. <laughs> I'll be damned if I wake up and your skeleton sitting there, half of you been eat. No. <laughs> oh, speaking of rubescent, your your beautiful daughter, my niece, good old. <laughs> okay, good old Ruby. It's in there. It's, there. it's, it's like there's like a there. wall in my head. And it's just going, and it's, say it, say it, say it, and it's eventually gonna go. <laughs> my teeth are starting to itch. Stop it. Damn okay, it. so I spent a day with your daughter and my niece because you were at work. Yes, and you had a couch. I was gonna get moved in. Yep. Thank you very much for that, by the way. But do you know? Let me expose good old co-host Cam here. He, this dog, as I've said before, doesn't weigh more than seven pounds. Uh, this big, this do the dog's like the size of this remote right here. She's Little bitty she's, dog. She's larger. Bad hips, bad knees, skinny legs. It, it's so crooked tail. Bro born on the side of the on the broken road. Broken tail, born on the road, and she is a lover, not a fighter. She's a she's a great dog, she's, right? She's a cutie. Cam, Cam cutie. can't let go of the fact that she's not an athlete. So Cam. I walk into the apartment and Cam has, it's like a notebook on, on the counter, right? And I'm like, okay, maybe that's his grocery list he's going to go get later. And it says Peyton's chores for Ruby. I'm okay. a grown man. Okay. I'm a grown man. Okay. Do not put in a notebook Peyton's chores for, that's a dog. I feed it. I water it. Got to piss. Take water it outside. It. <laughs> Cam said... At 7.15, give her these vitamins. And then at 8.30, go and give her these vitamins. And then spray this little thing over her, and it's going to make her endorphins go up. And then, whenever okay. it's time for food, put three egg yolks in there, put them in the microwave, and then spray this drizzle. Then give her her B4 vitamins for her knees. That dog is not LeBron James, Cam. I, the you, notebook said Peyton's <sighs> chores. I put chores as a joke, and it said... <laughs> At this time, which was 7.50, there was no 8.30 installment, 9 o'clock installment. It said at 7.15, you can feed the dog. Give her her kibble, then put the chicken broth in there, then crack the multivitamin, then the B4 vitamins, heat it up in the microwave real quick, 8 to 9 seconds. Do you hear yourself? Take it out and drizzle kefir yogurt on the top. That is a simple routine. Look at me in the eyes and, and ask me if, I've done, if I did that when I was I there. know you didn't. Absolutely not. I know you that didn't. dog got kibbles and bits and drank water. That's... And guess what? But she loves you. Still the same dog. Exactly. But she loves you. So she allowed you to not do this. She, she was fine with it because she loves you. And you know what else she I did? She understood that you failed her, but her immense love because she's an amazing creature. She just said, you know what? That's fine. That's still my Uncle P. Wagging her little crooked <laughs> Harry Potter wand tail. Just you, wagging along. You know why she loves me? Because I hurt her stomach. What? I just feed her treats a lot. What? Oh, okay. Well, those treats are like two calories each. So. I gave her like six. That's fine. She was so cute. She was just looking at yeah, me. Six isn't too bad. And she gets so excited whenever I have the treat. She's like so nice to me. She goes, <laughs> and then she takes something, runs in a little corner. Yeah. She, I love yeah, me. she does. She's afraid. She's like embarrassed to eat in front of people. But I have, <laughs> she is a little creep. Yeah, she goes, it's like, yeah, you're allowed to yeah, eat. It's like, I'm giving this to you. Just eat it. <laughs> but um, I do have a confession about the time. Uh, mm, sorry, I just, I just had a little stutter. It's okay. We know me. You stutter. I'm sorry. Right. You're a stutter. Oh, we're not going to talk about what happened off mic before this yeah, guy. Was was what was the word you were trying to say? Publicity stunt. I was like, publicity. But I do have a confession for whenever I stayed at your house and helped the movers move in your couch. Um, do you, you know how at the bottom of your stairs, there's a hole in your wall now? And I told you the movers dropped the couch? Yeah. I'm sorry. The fact that you waited for this to then to the fact that you waited for us to be on here to then say it. Go ahead. Open up the can. Go. I'm sorry. What did you do? I dropped it. Because why were you even handling it? That's literally why they were there. That's their job. Your job was to open the door, 
be there to receive it. I felt, Close the door when they leave. I felt bad just watching them. So I said, hey guys, let me grab the ottoman. And the stairs were slippery and I had socks on. And I fell back into the wall. And there's a big hole in the wall again. I'm sorry. The, the guilt was eating me inside. Dude, you know I called Ashley Furniture about that, and you have not told me what they say. I ca- they said that I'd have to fill out a form. Thank God I haven't done it yet, but I called them about that. No, pr- there's no proof. It's their word against mine. I'm sorry. Whatever, dude. It's not that big. It's not that big. Well, kid, I don't have big butt cheeks. No, the hole. Oh. Wait, you made the hole? Yes. That's what I'm saying. I, I fell back into the wall. Wow, that's not as bad. That it's like it can't. It's not even bigger than like your knee. I'm sorry, but still, like you, <laughs> you just moved in there. Fine, it'll get fixed. I'm not paying for it. I don't expect you to. I'm just gonna live in agony and sorrow. <laughs> Money comes in, money goes out. But you know why I didn't tell you one of the reasons? Why? Because you, I was looking in your kitchen, scavenging through your disgustingly healthy pantry with nothing in there for me. I looked on the counter. Guess what I saw on that counter? Hmm. My Nutribullet. You did. The one I asked you if I could take, and you said yes. I said you could take it, or did I say you could borrow it? Borrow? Hmm. Okay. How long ago have you been borrowing that? Was there a stipulation to our borrow? Was there a timeline? <laughs> I don't think so. So as long as I give it back to you, the full course and cycle of the borrow has been completed. Well, can we put some stipulations on it now? Because I'd sure. like to Two enjoy. Years. Okay. Enjoy the a- oh, uh. Enjoy. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and get your little nibble, little Hannibal. Go ahead and get your little bite. Enjoy the eight other holes I put in your wall every time you ask me to go over there. Yeah. Right. That's it. You're never getting back by yourself, ever. I'll let Ruby starve before you go back in there, because apparently she starves already. No, she gets full on treats. Don't even do the one thing I asked, but it's all right. She gets gets full on treats. You Um, suck. I have a confession, Cam. Oh, God. (laughs) What? I feel like I'm not the only one who does this. Like I feel like it's a very normal, natural thing, what I'm about to tell you. Uh, mm, I'll be the judge of that. I'm very nervous about your I'm reaction. I'm way more on the normal side than, than you, but I mean, we're all freaks. But that's another burp. <laughs> I'm, I'm very nervous about your reaction, what I'm about to say. Okay. We all enjoy ordering a pizza, right? Yes. Everybody loves pizza. Pizza's a, fantastic. A typical dipping sauce you would put your pizza in is ranch, correct? Not for me, but for most people on earth. But yes. it's normal. Like You don't look at people crooked, right? Whenever yeah. they say, I, play, I like ranch on my pizza. Yeah. I agree that people with uh, put pineapple on their pizza or put too much toppings on their pizza belong in federal prison, right? Okay. Don't ever deserve to see the light of day. I'd rather have a pineapple than ranch. But it doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> but there's something I do with my pizza that I haven't really told anybody, and I feel like it's a secret that I'm holding inside that I want to share with the people and share with you. Whenever I get a pizza, nice pepperoni pizza, especially this tastes real good with the pepperoni pizza, you get some... You ever had honey and you drizzle honey on your pizza? <laughs> I'm about to leave. <laughs> it's good for your allergies. Good for you're eating a pizza. <laughs> but it's homegrown honey. Homegrown my ass. Why are you putting honey on pizza? It's like sweet. I don't care if it's homegrown, store bought, straight off the hive. I don't care if you're 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 you got them in your room. Do not put honey on pizza unless it's the little dessert pizza. That's sick. What you do you is... You could get a bite of Italian beef, Italian meat, pepperoni, grease, mozzarella, and honey. And you mean to tell me your stomach and organs are still working properly? Because that is... But listen to me. What you do is you take the pizza, Shut right? Up. You take the pepperoni pizza and you get the honey you get the honey bottle and you just drizzle it like that. It it looks fancy when you do it. I bet it looks cool and it tastes even better. And you do that no. and then you no. eat it and then the the honey like stays in your mouth a little bit and then you get the pizza. Oh my god. You you did not just say it stays in your mouth. I hope you saw that. I I was it locked and loaded. It but, was ready to strike you. But then what you you don't eat the crust yet, right? 
what I like to do is I eat all the pizza, right, with the, with the cheese and the, and the sauce and, and, the, and the pepperoni on it, with the drizzle on it, right? You know what I'm saying? Eat that. The honey stays in your mouth a little bit. Then you get a little shock of, of the pepperoni. You get a little shock of the cheese. You get a little shock, a little shock of, the, of, 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 of the sauce in your mouth. But then you save all the crust, right? So you just have a pizza box full of crust. Then... I like what I like to do is get a little bowl of the honey, right? I squirt all the honey into a bowl so there's a nice little pool of honey in there and then you just get the crust. And now you got you got you got you got you got honey sticks. Okay, we're gonna dissect this. First thing, you suck. You just suck as a person. You really do. I can't be I the only you. one. I love you, but you suck. I can't be Second thing, if you're keeping a boneyard, a grave site of pizza crust till the end you're a freak that's, that's enough that's the second thing <laughs> thirdly you have not done this in front of me for a very obvious reason because that would even that would immediately break out into an altercation we would be two fighting men in the middle of whoever's living room or kitchen that we're eating this in so this is your one and only warning if you do that in front of me you're going to be struck Okay, I just there's no there's no more labels and no, warnings for you. But, but, Get that away. But have you ever no. had honey and, and toast? Yes. It's the same thing with the with the there's with not the crust. mozzarella and sauce on it and meat. So it's not the same thing. That's like saying, have you ever had honey and toast? Yeah, what's well, the same thing as putting honey on your turkey and ham sandwich? Uh, no. That might be good. <laughs> God. You want to talk about intrusive thoughts. I'm imagining whooping your ass right now because this is <laughs> no i feel like i'm gonna get an overwhelming amount of support of people that do that i pray to god you don't i, I seriously it's gonna piss me off if you do y'all are gonna anger me and I, i'm not gonna go on record saying that again because i love all of you <laughs> but if there's people that agree with you on this no. i'm just gonna lose a tad bit of hope but, but in you, all of humanity lose hope okay but you're acting like i do this when i get a meat lover's pizza and there's a bunch of di and it's only pepperoni pizza right but it's especially good if you get the garlic crust oh my god garlic crust dip it into the honey it's like it just like drips from the thing and then you just put that in oh oh my god you know what <laughs> the crust part i'll let it slide yeah doesn't sound too bad yeah the pizza is unacceptable. No, do it. It's un. Do I it. don't even dip it in ranch. And you think I'm gonna put honey on it? Yeah, you probably don't season your chicken either. So what is? <laughs> I definitely season my chicken. You cook beef and beef only. Dinner beef, breakfast whatever you buy, lunch beef, beef beef beef. Do you <gasps> season your beef? Yeah. With what? Like barbecue, no with way. barbecue. Do no. you hear this guy? No barbecue. Like, it's... where's your red nose? Cause you're a clown. Where is it? No, like barbecue, like rub. You put bar. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you are just. Why do you think I? Why do you think I have so much honey in my pantry? What do you have? You ever? You ever? <sighs> no. You're digging. Why your do bowl. you think I have so you're much? Digging your. Why grave. do you think I have so much honey in my pantry and it's always uh, empty? Because it's non-perishable and it has a shelf life of like four years. <laughs> Exactly. And the pizza doesn't. So you just empty all the honey out on the pizza. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the, on the, on, the sh on the sheer amount of respect I have for you as a man, I'll give you the, the crust. I'm not putting on the pizza. I'll try a crust dipper. And I'm, oh my God, I don't like, I'm not, a, honey is not enough for me to just put honey on something. But the honey it has to be honey and something else. But the honey's so rich too. So that's what I'm saying. It sticks like a goo in your mouth. And then you just in, insert the pizza over and over again. And then you get that red sauce in there and it's starting to mix with the honey. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. And then you're, and then you you're get about a little to get grabbed. <laughs> I'm, this is pissing me off. And then no, <laughs> no. And then the cheese acts as a layer in there. No. <laughs> you just said when the red sauce and the honey mixes. Yeah, it's like it's like. Oh, that's vomit. That is absolute throw up. The the literal thought. The pizza and the honey. I was allowing my brain to just in one side, out the other. But when you, I, I, in my head, I literally visioned, like if there was an, a graphic I could pop up, right here, I envisioned a pot of just sauce, tomato-based sauce, and someone taking honey and just pouring it in it, mixing it up and giving it a that taste. That sounds magical to me. 
I am. This is not okay. I am literally. You're. This is. And then you get a little pepperoni. It maybe sticks on the roof of your mouth right there. Oh, it's so good. I'm telling you. I'm tell. Next time we order a pizza, right? I let's won't do- be. I won't be there with you the next time you order pizza. Just let me. Let me have some kind of joy. I won't. You can have that. Do it all you want. Don't do it in front of me. That. It's so fact, good. I'll let you do it in front of me. I don't care. You know what? But you have to try it with me. No, I don't. No, I absolutely don't. You eat the world's hottest chip, then we can talk about who <laughs> has to try it. When are you going to let that go? The, it was the hottest chip in the world. You made me eat salmon. And that's uh, sardines. And that still wasn't even adequate payback. It really wasn't. <laughs> dude, that stunk up the studio for like a, a week. It did. That was, that was, dude. Oh. And we went out after that, and I was shaking fans' hands, and I don't it know smelled why. bad. I can't even lie right now. I don't know why. I'm starting to think about the honey on pizza. It's good as fuck. I'm to think about it. It's good, bro. I'm starting to think about it's it. good, bro. I can't lie. I'm telling you, you it pissed me off. Like something, fun. some cogs are moving up here, and it's just they, they, it was going like this, and then it just went. Eh, eh, eh. Started going back the other way. It's it's just imagine me, imagine me shirtless, right? With what a, the hell? <laughs> what are you? Shut up! <laughs> no, shut up! Imagine you shirtless with an apron on. Why? What is this? Uh, with the pizza a hat. A secret sexy Santa thing? No. With the pizza you... hat. And I have a nice thick pepperoni pizza. And I'm dressed all in there. <sighs> Imagine that. This is a different Papa John's? What are you? No. What are you? Why are you shirtless? Papa Payton. Papa Payton. No. Papa Payton would get Papa slept if I see this funny. Like, you're. This is. I can't. Because that's. Until I try. It's, you're, you're kind of convincing me, though. I'm in a, telling in you, a weird, I'm strange, tell- alternate hey. universe right now, I'm kind of... Look at your legs. <laughs> <laughs> you need help. You need psychiatric help. You, I'm going to buy you a, sh- a straight jacket. Stop. <laughs> I just saw you, like, load up. You literally were laughing away. I'm like, I've got a candle. <laughs> What? <laughs> you have a candle? <laughs> I've got a spot. What are you saying? You have I a can- live in a hallway. <laughs> Is this an actual tune? <laughs> With no door. This man said, I've got a candle and I've got a sponge. I live in a hallway with no doors. <laughs> no rooms. Yeah, that's your mind. You live in that empty apartment of a brain you have. There's the, why are you there's so many different bodily fluids right now. There's spit, there's tears. You look in pain. Actual pain. You look at stop moving back and forth. I tell me. Just sit there. It's all that damn sauce and honey. That's why your stomach hurts. I'm so sorry. You're a freak. <laughs> you ever heard that song? No. Some about a sponge with no doors, no rooms, and a candle. It sounds like a start to a sick joke. It's so like good. Like a weird joke. <laughs> oh. Sounds like someone's like hostage. It's so good. I'll play with. I'll play it for you after. I d- I would really prefer if you don't <laughs> turn my ears off for that one. Breathe. You need to breathe. You need to take a three-second breath. <sighs> breath work. Here we go. God, your belly button. <laughs> Every t- it, the fact that it's cold in here, and your belly button still is somewhat <laughs> sweaty. Feel it. It's not. No. You want to wrestle? No. I just got some like a second wind of energy. <laughs> Put that finger down. Hey, ET, calm down over there. You, dude, this damn like. Okay, just for y'all to know, I have I have not bought him a Starbucks drink since. <laughs> And we have already discussed this. Three shots of espresso is not much at all. You want to put on our Halloween costumes again? <laughs> Do you hear this? Like, he is he is a child. He is doing it himself. I'm not... <laughs> just know that. When you when y'all go to comment, just know that Uncle Cam is... Red Ranger, assemble! <laughs> I'm scared.
All right, sorry guys. We just got back from a, a quick little intermission. Um, I I'm, I apologize. A lunatic, yeah. I, I apologize. Yeah, I had come to, back to earth. I got water. Um, it's a good song. I did play it for Cam. It's not a good song. It's not. <laughs> it's just. Not. I got a candle. <laughs> did I tell you how I made a woman bleed inside a grocery store? <laughs> what does that mean? It was an accident. It better have been. You'd be getting the police called on you. Okay, what happened was, so we're large individuals, right? Yes. So I was going down the, the chips and salsa aisle, and this woman, she was shorter, and the salsa was on the shelf that she couldn't reach. So as I was walking by, she goes, excuse me, sir, can you grab that salsa for me right there? I can't reach it. I'm used to this. I've been doing this since I was an adolescent. Life, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Giraffe arm, I'll go grab that. Here you go. I'm the hero for the day. I've been having problems with my anxiety and sweaty palms, right? <laughs> Oh my God. So as I was going to grab the salsa being the hero for the day, I gripped too hard and it slipped out of the sweaty palm. It shattered right on her foot. It hit her foot, already the impact I know that hurts. Then it shatters open-toed shoes she was wearing. I wouldn't advise that for a grocery store, but it's not her fault. It's a dangerous task. (laughs) But it's not her fault that I dropped it onto her foot. Immediately she makes a noise. She goes, ah, loud. Everybody looks. Everybody heard oh, that. Oh, you are sweating at this point. I'm you, Shamu wet. You are. You just jumped out of a pool. I'm, I'm starting to shake a little bit in the leg, and I don't do well whenever people get injured around me because I'm not a doctor. I haven't, I haven't been trained for this task. So any kind of injury around me, if I'm involved or not, I don't do well. I shut down. Probably not a good characteristic trait of mine. I just don't know what to do, right? You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of responsibility on me. And then I didn't know what to say, right? Because I'm not good in the, under pressure like this. Mm-hmm. So I say, uh, oh, did it get you? <laughs> did it get you? What else am I supposed to say? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's start with that. I'm sorry for slicing your ankle and, and <laughs> ruining the one thing you needed from me. So now- I'm sorry for torturing you in this, in this moment of time. Did it get you? <laughs> she goes, uh, you. And she was trying to be nice, and she goes, oh, yeah, I think so, a little bit. And I go, oh, okay. What do you want me to do? And she goes, you're useless. I was panicking. And she goes, uh, will you grab somebody? And I go, yeah. Now, this is a lot of responsibility <laughs> on me. I was about to say, you can, I'm surprised you even made it to the chips and salsa aisle. Because you, I mean, it's like... You're like a service dog when it comes to being in a group. Like, you have to be absolutely drugged to where you're supposed to. Like, I mean, it's bad. So, <laughs> so, so she says, will you grab somebody? I was like, yes. But before I did that, I asked her, do, I was like, do you want me to grab you another salsa? Because I knew that was her objective. She wanted to. So I'm like, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get, just get an employee, please. Please. I want to go home with both feet. I don't, like, no, it's, it's fine. It's so, you know, I don't even know what I was thinking. Salsa. It's no, it's a Thursday. Salsa is for the weekend. You know, you're, uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> so I immediately, I started to overthink the situation, right? I didn't know if I should grab a cashier or if I should grab the help service people. I didn't know if I should grab the police officer at the door. So I, all this stuff was going through my brain while I was real hot. And everybody was looking at me because they know I hurt her. And I felt bad, and I don't like that. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, ma'am. Oh, uh. So all I, the, the rationale in my mind was like, I need a doctor, right? So I went, I went to the pharmacy. And I said, there's a woman bleeding in the chips and salsa aisle. She said, sir, we just hand out medicine. (laughs) She's probably like, what do you want me to do, you idiot? And I said, oh. She goes, sir, we just hand out medicine. And I go, so you can't help her? No, dumbass. Bro, I was so scared. And so I go, who do I get? She goes, anybody else? Oh. And so then, oh my God. I didn't, like, at this point, like, this is, like, doomsday for me. This is my worst nightmare, because I don't like making people sad. I you don't like injuring people. I don't, Everyone is watching you. You've already communicated wrong to the wrong group of people. 
and you're dripping sweat. And I didn't have underwear on, so like I was scared Bro, that the sweat was is... gonna. Go. I was wearing sweatpants, so I was scared that it was gonna start to show, like the butt sweat. I was going through it, and so I just grabbed the cashier, and I was like, "Somebody's bleeding in the chips and salsa," and they're like, "What happened?" And I was like, like, "Tink," scanning stuff. He's like, uh, uh. And, I go, and they go, "What happened?" I said, "I don't know." She just asked me to grab her. You lied on it. What was? I didn't want to go to jail. You're not going to go to jail. I'm bad under pressure. You're horrible. That is an understatement. And I looked, and she was standing there, like, trying to wipe the, like, glass off her foot. I was so, bro, I panicked so bad. And so I walked, like, one of the people they got from, like, the help service people over there. And they came with, like, mops and, like, bandages and all that, getting her ready. And I walked with them because I'm not a coward. So I was going to go face what I did. And then so she was like, oh, God, thank you so much. And they were asking her if she's okay. And I was like, I, I, you should really look at that. And I was, it was real bad. And she's probably like, shut up. <laughs> and so they were. Get him away from me. They were giving her a tourniquet, right? And she. Had, okay. Whatever. Okay. And so Band-Aid, maybe. Maybe some gauze. And so they were fixing her, and she had, like, one of those handheld baskets. She wasn't getting a lot of groceries, right? She just had chips in there. She, she had just whatever. Her salsa. And so it was on the ground. And then so I picked it up, right? I picked up her basket, and she goes, can you please put that down? And I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, I wish I never would have asked you. And then I was walking out, and there's this kid walking, and he goes, Cucumber Gatorade. And I said, not right now. You're like, I can't right now. It was my worst. You're literally like this. You're like, just. He, now he's sad. She's injured. A, a pharmacy has a hell of a story to say. A cashier still hates his shift right now. And the other guy, a tourniquet? You dropped a jar of salsa, not a saw blade. It probably barely got her a couple of nicks. But it was so red on the ground because it was so, I couldn't it was tell if it was salsa. salsa or if it was her. I didn't know. Oh. She made a yelp and that made my heart. Bro, like it was like my brain, like nothing was there. It was just fog and black. That's, that's it, most of the time. But <laughs> Oh Bro. my God. That's, you need to find that woman again. Uh, if I mean, hopefully she doesn't run from you. But if you were to find her again, you need to buy her some salsa. You need to hand her a shirt. You need to. I tried something. everything I could. I picked up her basket and she said, put it down. She said, oh, no. She's like, please, God, no. She's like, I'm trying to make it out of here alive. I'm so sorry to the salsa woman. And, and That's sick. Inside salsa of the grocery woman, store. I, I'm sorry for you. On my behalf of this loony. <laughs> I'm, that's, that's sad. Yeah, my bad. So the moral of that story, don't. Don't buy salsa on a Thursday when this guy's in your proximity. <laughs> if it's on the top shelf, just find another one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really going. Like, I, I shouldn't have brought that up because I started to get over it now. Now you're just thinking about your decision. <laughs> it was such a bad day, dude. Oh, And I'm sorry God. to the guy that recognized the videos. I didn't mean, I just was going yeah, through a he lot. He was going so through hell on down. earth. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, <gasps> he's just trying to get to Howard. Yeah. Oh, Howard's his car. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. I've got a can no, 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 they don't, they're not. You got a little boom in my big truck. Gonna turn it up. Up on the toolbox, it don't matter. I don't tell you, girl, I can't wait to watch you do your thing. Shake for the beat. Shake for the Oh. I think I broke it. Did I break it? I think he just broke the couch. I'm so sorry. It literally sounded like somebody's humorous bone just snapped. We gotta end it. I'm not feeling any loose wood though. I hear something that's not. Oh yeah, it's not. Where's your? Oh, your phone's right there. It's okay. not stable. But. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of the You your, Should Know yeah, podcast. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, don't forget, yes, any any uh, fifty dollar purchase of any sorts, any way you get to fifty or more, and all the people that have already ordered a fifty dollar purchase or higher, you get entered into the chance. Randomized golden ticket, Willy Wonka uh, type experience to get a free performance package from our beautiful, amazing sponsors at Manscaped. Also. 
no purchase limit. It could be one mug. It could be 10 flags. It could be one shirt. All of those are getting pulled into their own little pool, into their own little database. And every single week starting this next week, uh, for four weeks straight, a month straight, one of you lucky, beautiful, amazing fans will be getting a season one OG staple shirt signed by both co-host Cam and Uncle P uh, as just an extra thank you for all y'all. Last four in existence, literally, there'll never be any more of them. So if you can wear it, wear it. There, it smells like the studio. It is. It does smell like the studio, and it is signed with Sharpie. So if you're fine with wearing a Sharpie <laughs> shirt in public, go for it. If not, just enjoy it. But yeah, thank you for uh, being here for another week. We love you, as always. Um, Manscaped, thank you for giving back to the people uh, in the time of the holidays. Great, amazing sponsors at Manscaped. We love you. You already know that. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Great code. outro. Code. I'll do the code. Um, I G A S. I got a sponge. <laughs> we'll stick with that. I G A S. I gas. I gas is the secret. I got, I got a sponge. A sp- I got, got a sponge. sponge. Prince Ali, 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 All right. Ali, Ali, Thank Ali, you so Ali, much for watching Ali. this episode of the You Should Know Podcast. One out of ten quality bears don't make shoe. it on the Christmas. And I will see you. Gucci, 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 Gucci. What? Gucci, 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 Gucci. Next week. Oh, check Nintendo's. Oh. D- oh. <laughs> I gotta go to somewhere and get like looked at, dude. Like this is bad. <laughs>